Hi everyone, and welcome to the Legion Network Podcast YouTube channel. My name's Heather Powell, and I'm one half of the Friday Nightmares podcast team. Today, I'm going to talk to you about my top five female horror protagonists from 2010 to 2020. So this is my own personal list of who I felt was some of my favorite female protagonists. So the first person on my list is Jade from It Follows. Jade is a young woman who contacts a STD that brings death with it from a young man who she sleeps with. The reason why I really like this film is I think it really challenged our purity culture and how we view women as it is okay for men to go out and have sex with whoever they want in a heterosexual relationship, but not so much for women. And I really enjoyed her moral dilemma with passing on the curse to another person and how the story plays out with her friends and choices that she makes throughout, which is why she's one of my top five protagonists. My fourth is Adelaide slash Red from Us 2019. I included Adelaide and Red there because for those of you who have seen the movie, you're probably aware of the fact that this actress plays both characters. And you could argue that both characters are in a sense the protagonist. Uh, for Adelaide, she defends her family against the tethered who come and to attack them. She also is a strong leader throughout the entire film and the acting is just awesome. So this is why she is my number four protagonist. Number three is Grace from Ready or Not. Uh, Grace is a young woman who comes from a significantly lower class who marries into money. And on her wedding night, she finds out that she needs to play a very deadly game of hide and go seek. I love how she's very intuitive. Uh, she manages to outsmart a lot of really difficult situations and is forced to make a very challenging decision at the end, which I think she does a really good job of. So Grace is my number three. Number two is Aaron from Your Next. This is an awesome survival horror film. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, I, I really do encourage you to, to take a look at it. Um, Aaron goes to her boyfriend's family house uh, for a big dinner, not aware of the fact that they are on the attack from mask assailants. Uh, little does anyone know that Aaron is a trained survivalist and she tries to outsmart the assailants as well, as well as there's a nice little twist in it. I think Erin's a very powerful female protagonist. She's put into this extremely difficult situation. She's trying to impress her ideally future in-laws and then chaos breaks out. And I think she handles herself really well. So I suggest checking out this film if you haven't had a chance to yet. And finally, my number one is Claire from The Nightingale from 2018. Uh, the Nightingale is probably one of the most historically accurate to how women were treated during this time period. Um, there is some sexual assault in it, so I want to give that as a fair warning to people. But how she recovers from the tragedy that she faces and how she eventually seeks her revenge is extremely empowering, especially for women during that time or even now. And I think the acting in this movie is just incredible, so I recommend that people check it out. And finally... Thanks for watching, and I encourage you to subscribe to the Legion Podcast Network. You can find the link here at legionpodcast.com, and we look forward to hearing from you. Take care.